This tutorial is about equivalence classes and partition of a set. To define equivalence classes, we need an equivalence relation. Now, a relation on a non-empty set A is said to be equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. A relation R is said to be reflexive if ordered pair AA belongs to R for all A belongs to E. A relation R is said to be symmetric if ordered pair AB belongs to R implies ordered pair BA belongs to R. A relation R is said to be transitive if ordered pair AB and ordered pair BC belongs to R implies ordered pair AC belongs to R. A relation which is reflexive, symmetric and transitive is said to be equivalence relation. Now consider a set A equal to set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a relation R on this set A defined by set of all ordered pair AB such that A minus B is even. Now in roster form R is equal to 1, 1, ordered pair 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5 because 1 minus 1 is 0 which is even. 5 minus 5 is 0, even. Now here also 1 minus 3 is minus 2 which is even. So this relation consists these elements. Now equivalence class is defined as for an element A belongs to the set A equivalence class of A is denoted like this and is defined as equivalence class of A is equal to set of all x such that x is related to A or set of all x such that ordered pair x A belongs to R. This set is known as equivalence class of A. For consider the set A set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and an equivalence relation on this set A given by R. Now here equivalence class of 1 is set of all elements which are related to 1. 1 is related to 1 so this set consists 1. 1 is related to 3 so this set consists 3 and 1 is related to 5 so this set consists 5. So equivalence class of 1 is set 1, 3, 5. Now consider equivalence class of 2. 2 is related to 2 and 2 is related to 4. So this set consists set 2, 4 elements 2, 4, set 2, 4. Now observe this relation equivalence of equivalence class of 3 is set 1, 3, 5. Equivalence class of 4 is set 2, 4 and equivalence class of 5 is set 1, 3, 5. Now observe these five equivalence classes. We can find that equivalence class of 1 <coughs> equal to equivalence class of 3 and that is equal to equivalence class of 5. Also equivalence class of 2 is equal to equivalence class of 4. So there are only two equivalence classes. Equivalence class which consists of 1 and equivalence class which consists 2. We denote it by P1 and P2. This P1 and P2, two sets are such that P1 union P2, that is we get set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which is equal to A and P1 intersection P2 equal to 5, not set. And when we consider this set, 1 is related to 3, 1 is related to 5, these elements are related to each other any of this element is not related to 2, 4. And here we have this conditions P1 union P2 equal to A, P1 intersection P2 is null set. So this P1 P2 forms a partition of A. P1 and P2 forms a partition of A. Now consider another set A, set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and here there is a equivalence relation and we get two partitions, 
partition which consists the element 1 equivalence class with 1 and equivalence class of 2 which is set 1 4 6 and set 2 3 5 in the same set when we consider another equivalence relation this r we get equivalence classes of, of 1 equivalence class of element 2 and equivalence class of element 5 now here p1 is set 1 4 6 p2 set 2 3 and p3 is set 5 union of these three p1 p2 p3 gives a and p1 intersection p2 is null set p1 intersection p3 is null set and p3 intersection p1 p2 intersection p1 is also null set that is they are pairwise disjoint their union is a and are pairwise disjoint now consider a set which consists ellipses different colored ellipses now this is a partition of this ellipses based on their colors now partition of a set consider a non-empty set a a set p1 p2 p3 etc pn is said to be a partition of this set a if their union equal to a that is p1 union p2 union p3 union etc union pn is equal to a and this pi's are pairwise disjoint pi intersection pj equal to null set for i not equal to j this set is known as partition of set a now when we have partitions of a set a we can we can find the corresponding equivalence relation when the partitions p1 set 1 2 3 and p2 set 4 5 are given p1 p2 is a partition of a then we can find the corresponding equivalence relation now here partitions are 1 3 5 1 is related to 1 2 is related to 2 3 is related to 3 so we have these elements 4 is related to 4 5 is related to 5 and here elements are related to each other so 1 2 and 2 1 1 3 and 3 1 then we have 2 3 and 3 2 these elements then here 4 5 and 5 4 these are the elements in the relation R so when partitions are given we can find the equivalence relation consider set a equal to set 1 2 3 4 5 maximum number of partition of a is 5 that is when the equivalence relation r equal to set 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 in this case 1 is related to 1 and 1 is not related to any other element so we get 5 partitions p1 equal to set 1 p2 equal to set 2 p3 equal to set 3 p4 set 4 p5 is set 5 each elements are isolated now we put lockdown we put in the the isolated quarantine home quarantine now minimum number of partition of a is 1 that is when equivalence relation is a cross a the universal relation when R is universal relation, we have only one partition. Number classroom le irikana pole la kutigalum teacher okay it classroom le onichilavoliana is a universal relation. Vode anangilo or to take irikana boliana. Now this relation is identity relation. This relation is known as identity relation. So when the R is identity relation it has maximum number of partition if r is universal relation minimum number of partition so there is a set with five different elements now these are different partitions now in this case each elements are isolated we get p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 in the last case here last one each elements are related to each other if the elements are 1 2 3 4 5 
here each elements are related to one another and here they are isolated last one each are related to one another total we get 52 different partitions if there are five elements total partitions are 52 okay thank you